Uh, I'm Dr. Tom Fahey. I'm a general surgeon at Lodi Memorial Hospital. I've been here for about a little over 10 years. I've uh, started robotic surgery back in October of 2013. I was one of the first trained uh, surgeons in Lodi to do the robotic surgery. And since that time, I've done about 400 uh, cases with the robot. The robotic system that we're using has uh, three components to it. There's a patient cart that is the uh, portion of the robot that actually has the arms and works inside of the patient. There's the uh, console, which is the actual part that uh, we work at to manipulate the robot. And then there's another cart that has a vision um, monitor as well as some other electronics that help uh, work with the robot. Basically, when we do the robotic surgery, we um, put it, place our ports that allows us access inside of the abdomen um, and then we attach the robot to those ports, place the instrument through the ports and then that all works inside of the patient. At which point then we go to the console and that's when we start to manipulate the robot using the, the hand controls and then that mimics our hand motions inside. We can move everything around 3D motion, um, 7 degrees of freedom I believe is what they call it. Most of the time, people don't really have that much knowledge about the, the robot or how it works. Sometimes they do think that the robot is, is going to do the whole surgery and, and we just sit in there and have a Coke or something. That's not really how it works. Really, the robot is just an extension of the surgeon. It's just an instrument that we manipulate inside the, the patient's body. So that's the biggest thing is they think that it's going to work autonomously and really we're in control of every aspect of the surgery. Many, many procedures can be done. Pretty much a lot of the stuff that we traditionally do open surgery can be done laparoscopically with the robot. Um, especially with some of the more common procedures are the colectomies, um, the gallbladder surgeries, the hernia surgeries, they can all be done with the robot. Advantages to the patient is that it's enabling us to do more complex surgeries in a more minimally invasive fashion. We're trading the bigger open incisions for a colectomy for a few smaller incisions. Patients recover from this a lot faster. We have a lot better visualization. There's 3D visualization. There's 10 times magnification, which allows us to see the little blood vessels and everything a lot clearer so that when we do the procedures, we're having less blood loss, less, you know, less potential of damaging nerves or other structures that inadvertently we usually can't see and just kind of go by the wayside. Um, patients recover a lot faster from robotic or from laparoscopic and robotic surgery, which allows the patients to get back to their normal activities a lot quicker um, and back to their normal lifestyle, which really is our goal.